Anyway, I'm taking my bike in for its first service and I know it's not gonna be cheap. I'm gonna show you exactly how much it costs to maintain a BMW S1000 RR. It's the first service of me owning the bike. So we just crossed over to 3,000 miles on the BMW. Can anyone take a guess how much it costs to get all of these parts installed as well as getting a full service? Yep. <laughs> It's time for some new gloves. It's terrible. Yo, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a video on taking my bike in for its first service, technically. Now, my bike is about to hit 3,000 miles here in about five miles. So you guys are gonna be with me as my bike hits 3,000 miles. I've only owned it for a few months, like maybe four months. I got it in June. I'm taking it in for its first service to get uh, oil change. Um, I got some Pirelli Super Corsa V3s they're gonna put on. I got some oil cooler guards, radiator guards, rear spools, which some of this stuff I could probably put on myself, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let the dealer knock it out. I believe I'm just gonna go ahead and get a full service on the bike and have them look over and check anything that possibly could have came loose or just look over the bike, make sure everything's all right. And um, you know, the bike's still under warranty, so it will probably be better just to go ahead and do that. I'm on my way to my local BMW dealership, Mositis Motorsports. If you guys are in the market for a new bike, a used bike, power sports of any sort, go check them out. It's one of the bigger dealerships that is local here to Pittsburgh and they always uh, have good selection for the most part. They've just got a lot of stuff in just recently. So go check them out for anything in your motorcycle needs. So anyway, I'm taking my bike in for its first service and I know it's not gonna be cheap. I know it's not gonna be cheap at all. Since I know it's not gonna be cheap, I'm gonna show you exactly how much it costs to I guess you could say maintain a BMW S1000 RR just to get it's well technically it's the first service of me owning the bike. I really just wanted to change my oil. I wanted to put these new tires on. The tires I currently have on here they're not bad at all and granted I don't I don't ride too hard at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the tires out. I'm gonna try these super courses see what they're all about but mainly I wanted just to change my oil I own the bike for a thousand miles I bought it from Sills BMW in Ohio and Zach did everything on it every single thing I actually talked to Zach yesterday me and him had a good 10 minute conversation about my bike and about BMWs in general um, I also got a sprint air filter that I'm gonna be throwing in the bike the bikes already tuned it's already flashed if you guys don't already know that and another thing if you guys are new to my channel make sure you subscribe there's gonna be plenty more content coming on my bmw got a lot of things planned for it but as of right now like i said i just want to take it in get its oil changed have it looked over and uh, make sure there's a log of it just you know for bmw just in case what else did i get i got rear spools like i said radiator and oil cooler guards that was just something i wanted to do you know because that's just something i wanted to do it might change the look a little bit and it might not but that's just a personal preference you don't have to do that to your motorcycle so at this point we're about to hit 3,000 miles on the bmw in two more miles i'm anxious to see how these super courses handle i hear a lot of good reviews about them i was gonna get the dunlop q4s i came from riding only dunlop q3 plus so the q4s were, would have been right up my alley it's not gonna be a long video but i'm gonna show you i'm gonna drop it off and then once i pick it up later on i'm gonna break down every single thing it was done and how much the dealership charged me and i'm going the dealership route only because 
everything will be documented. You have a certified BMW tech working on your motorcycle. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. So we just crossed over to 3,000 miles on the BMW. So with that being said, technically I'm not due for a service. BMW operates, I think they do every 6,000 miles and every one year. So there's an actual counter that counts down as you as you ride. And I believe I'm only at, like I still have like 3,000 more miles to go obviously. My bike just said 3,000 miles, but I have 3,000 miles more to go until technically I'm due to get like an actual full service. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get that done now. I think they just check over everything, the chain, the brake fluid, the coolant. Uh, just just everything really I could have just opted for an oil change which that was the main reason this stuff is all new to me on any of my other bikes I'm changing the oil anywhere between like you know 1500 to 3,000 miles anyway I've owned my bike for I've only put a thousand miles on it I got the bike with uh, well let's say I put like 1500 miles on it. I got the bike with like 1300 miles which is still a brand new motorcycle to me. It had the first service done. I just wanted to go ahead and take some of the preventative steps to getting things done early. The riding season here in Pittsburgh is slowly coming to an end. There's still some time left, but it's slowly coming to an end. But I just want to have it done and out the way so that next riding season comes up. You know, you never know what's going to happen in the world. Things happen, you know, sometimes you know service centers and dealerships they get backed up very early people want to get their bikes in at the beginning of spring or beginning of summer and i'm just trying to stay ahead of the game so with that being said i'm on my way to the dealership we are going to show you guys exactly how much it's going to cost in my head i have a number i'm hoping of course i'm hoping it's going to be less if it's going to be more i'll probably cry but for real I know it's gonna it's gonna cost a little bit of money. You gotta pay to play when you ride something like this. After I get everything done with this bike, it's time to get back to work. It's time to hustle, and it's time to stack up some more some more money because the things I want to do with this bike is not over. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Alright, so we're here at Mositis Motorsports. I know y'all seen this in plenty of my videos. Alright, so I'm here at Mositis picking up my bike. You see we got two bikes here. Ran into a subscriber. Since 150 subscribers, he's been subscribed to me. My man Chad right here. Go check him out. I'm going to link his name down below. And uh, he got a nice, beautiful 2013, right? 2013 636 in the white, man. But go check him out on Instagram. Go follow him. Appreciate you for the support, my guy. Hey, man, keep up the good work, man. You know, I'll be watching all the time. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, my guy. Yes, sir. So, just picked up the BMW from here at Mositis Motorsports. I'm satisfied as of right now. Got the uh, Pirelli Super Corsa V3s installed. Got the Evotec radiator and oil cooler guards installed. Uh, rear spools, sprint air filter. I uh, got a full service. So that's oil, coolant, uh, just checking things. Got the brake fluid flushed, which it didn't need it, but I just went ahead and, you know, was preventative and, and got it done. And it's required through warranty work through BMW, so I went ahead and did that. On the way out here, you've seen the bike just hit 3,000 miles. There's 
3,010 miles on it right now. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on these tires, these Pirelli V3 Super Courses. I have yet to use the Pirelli brand. Like I said before, I'm used to the Dunlop. And uh, I hear a lot of good things about these Pirellis. And the second part of this video is gonna be on the cost of owning a BMW now. I could have very easily, easily just changed the oil myself, and purchased oil and filter and just did it myself. But one thing that BMW does require is to use their BMW branded oil. So, I'm not saying that I couldn't have picked it up and purchased it. I just wanted to go ahead and take it into the dealership, even though it did cost a decent bit of money. So I guess we'll get into that right now and I'm not gonna make this video any longer than it needs to be. Can anyone take a guess without fast forwarding this video and take a guess how much it costs to get all of these parts installed as well as getting a full service. And mind you, I already had the first service done. The first service was done before I purchased the bike. That service from what I heard from Zach from Sills BMW, the first service with installing the flash, the full titanium exhaust, taking the uh, speed limiter and rev limiter off, and doing a couple other things. The first service was close to $1,500 from what I was told. So take a guess at how much my first service of owning this bike cost. All right, so the first service of me owning this bike cost me about $700. Now I will say this, and I think I need to say it because I don't, <laughs> I'm trying to think how to say it without putting it out there the wrong way, but I'm just gonna keep it all the way real. $700 is $700. Second of all, I just wanna say, how long do you think it takes for you to save $700? Or let's just say, how long, do you think it takes for you to save a thousand dollars most people who work at nine to five i mean it takes a decent bit i'm not gonna lie and sit here and say that i got it like that because i don't it takes a long time like a dollar is a dollar a hundred dollars is a hundred dollars and 700 is 700. now i know for full services that the manufacturer requires there is um, a few things that are involved in that i kind of predicted that i was going to be around that area my initial thought was going to be like five at the most but they did install and i'll show you i might insert the actual detailed copy of the receipt that they gave me And they kind of, from what she told me, the service advisor, they lumped everything together. So the radiator guard is the longest job they had to do. They had to take the fairings off, supposedly, to install the radiator and oil cooler guards, which does make sense. They are, it looks like they're connected to the bottom belly fairing, the inner part. So that was the longest job that they had to do. The oil, the tires, like that stuff is easy. I could have my bike in and out in a few hours. Yeah, $700. I wanna just be transparent with owning this motorcycle only because this is my dream bike. And uh, I'm really glad and thankful that I was able to do it. I'm really thankful and glad that I was able to purchase this machine because uh, it still gives me that feeling. The only thing that makes it a little worse is the fact that I literally just paid to get it registered and paid the taxes on this bike. So I am gonna take it easy on these tires. She did warn me 
but this is nothing that I don't know about riding a motorcycle. But of course, you know, when you get new tires on a motorcycle, it just feels really, really, really good. The turn in is so effortless, but as far as getting in the corner is very hard, which I really don't. I'm just gonna take it easy. But there's another thing with BMW. Uh, BMW has had a few recalls. Unfortunately, on this bike, there's a recall for the chain tensioner. So I have to take the bike back to the dealership next week, I believe it is, or the week after, and get that recall done. Which is a good thing because if there's a recall, an open recall, you need to get it done just in case something does happen to your engine, your transmission, anything on the bike. BMW will cover it. I believe this bike comes with a two or three year warranty. I can't remember, I should know. But going back, I don't wanna keep jumping around, but then again, I'm just trying to feel everything out. But going back to the price, $700 for all that stuff. Basically what you're paying for is the work. You're paying for the labor. After looking at the breakdown, After looking at the breakdown, like any shop, you're paying for the labor. Technicians, they gotta make their money too. So I don't necessarily mind taking my bike to a dealership, but when it comes to some small things, it probably won't be going to the dealership. Like tires, I have my own personal mechanic who can change tires. I suggest if you do plan on purchasing one of these motorcycles, you know, Try to get in where you can fit in. Try to find somebody who does work on the side. Try to talk to a local technician at one of your dealerships and see if they have any tools at their, you know, at their house that they're willing to work on your bike. Just for simple stuff like oil changes and things like that. Paying all that money for an oil change just from the dealership, uh, it's really not worth it because like I said, you're paying for the labor. Anything else, of course, when you get into the engine or electronics, of course, you got to take it into the dealership. I'm pretty sure with all this technology on this motorcycle, there is so many different components and so many different things, diagnostics and different tools. So BMW is just a whole different realm is basically where I'm going. Once you jump in on one of these motorcycles, it will be a little bit more expensive when doing service and different things, parts. Parts aren't gonna be just sitting on a shelf as if you were on a, Japanese sport bike, there might not be parts sitting on the shelf for these bikes at all. Matter of fact, to get some windscreen bolts for this, it did take a week. You know, there is good things and bad things about owning a German motorcycle versus a Japanese sports bike, super bike. So I did get the Sprint air filter installed. I don't think I'm gonna notice any kind of a difference as of yet. I don't think I have at least. So I'm really not gonna notice a difference I think even with the Sprint air filter, you really don't, you won't feel a difference, I should say. I think on the top end, you might be able to notice it. You might gain a couple horsepower, maybe. And I'm not worried about it, you know, but I do want to eventually get this bike dyno tuned. I think I mentioned this before. I do want to get it dialed in and have it running as best as possible. I would love to take it up to, I think Brent tuning is actually in, Boston, Massachusetts. So I would really love to take it up there directly to Brent and have him actually dial it in. Other than that, man, that's really going to do it for this video. Is it worth it to take your bike to a dealership? Is it worth taking your brand new super bike, your 2021 BMW S1000 to the dealership? Absolutely. When it comes to some of the small minor things, no, I mean, anybody can change oil. And me not being like mechanically inclined all like that or have the tools. I can easily change the oil. Even if I needed another hand or some help or something like that, it's easy to change your oil. Tires, you can always, there's plenty of shops that you can get your tires mounted and balanced at. You can even take your own tire off and take it to like a cycle gear or any other kind of private shop and get your bike tires put on. For stuff like this, 
with a bike that's so new that has uh, all these mechanical and electrical components and everything I think it is best you take it to the dealership to a certified technician don't have just anybody working on your machine especially something like this like I said if you guys are new to my channel go ahead subscribe make sure you tap in with all my social medias I'll make sure I link them down below stay tuned for the content that's gonna be dropping from here and throughout the fall and the winter unfortunately it's about to be winter so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one